I'm Erin Burnett, and out front tonight, it's time, Mitt. Time to put them on the table. We all know what it is, your taxes. Here are the Romney's tax returns. This is 2010, and it's very thick, as you can see. All right, here is 2010. This is estimated, and as you can see, my pink stickies are, are you know, they're yellowed from the sun because... We've had them out, labeled, ready to, ready to go for a long time. We're waiting for the other years. Aside from killing trees, in the case of Mitt Romney, there really isn't a need to hold back on releasing more. And I'm going to explain why in just a moment. But first, today, Mitt Romney made the case for non-disclosure again on Fox. Guys? John McCain ran for president and released two years of tax returns. Uh, John Kerry ran for president. You know, his wife, who has hundreds of millions of dollars, she never released her tax returns. Right. Somehow this wasn't an issue. It is an issue for Mitt Romney. It is not his wife's money. And unlike John McCain, Romney's career has been in business, not politics. Mitt Romney is running on his business expertise. His tax returns are a relevant window into how he conducts his business affairs. If he refuses to release them, it is because, one, he had a lot more money in tax shelters in prior years than he does now. Two, he did something shady. Or three, he's stupid. Now, Mitt Romney is not a stupid man, and if he did something shady, well, he did it because if he did, the IRS would already have found it. So let's assume it's number one. He had a lot of tax shelters, took advantage of every loophole known to man in the 72,536-page IRS tax code. That's fair and square. That is why the tax code is so long, so people can take advantage of it. But here is our decent proposal. Release the returns. 